Good morning, Minister. Uh, Minister, I think the debate this morning is about an old adage where we know the cost of everything and the value of nothing. And it appears to me that government has, to a large degree, in the last number of years, turned its back on the needs of the post office network. And in doing so, they're turning their back on the needs of regional and rural Ireland. There's a significant uh, grouping of people, of citizenry, uh, who have used post office services for many years, and they will not avail of the kind of move to e-commerce that government is probably, and maybe society, is pushing. And we need to recognise that in the first instance, in my opinion. And secondly, we also need to see how we can future-proof uh, the post office network for the new modern age. And I think, firstly, we must acknowledge that either government is going to look at this as a strategic asset in the country, or it's not. And I can tell you, as uh, somebody who lives in the regions of Ireland and who has large rural constituency bases, I know the value of the post office network, and I know the importance of post offices to citizens there who want to do business in the post office because it's a local community area where they feel safe and secure going, where they are known, where they get recognition and where they value the services. And they have been prepared for years to support the services in their taxes, but unfortunately government has not. And I think the issue is that a PSO is going to be required to support the services of post offices in the future. We can look at other initiatives in terms of paying social welfare payments and all of that, but ultimately this is about a strategic decision whether government is going to support the network into the future or not. And that is a strategic decision, it's a cultural decision, it's nothing more than that. And once you make the decision, then you can provide the initiatives that are going to flow money into the post office network. And I'm asking you here today, Minister, to seriously look at the importance of post offices in the national uh, social framework and fabric of the country. That is what is required here. There are things I'm sure which other deputies have spoken about, as in the payments of PUP, as doing motor taxation and driving licences. There are loads of things we can do. I called in the House here some months ago for an initiative to be looked at between the credit unions and the post office network in terms of providing funding into the SME sector. We have hundreds of millions sitting in credit union accounts that cannot find a way of leveraging interest. And we have people in business who are looking for money. And there's a natural uh, efficiency that could be arrived at there. And nobody has uh, the idea or the expression of interest to have a look at something like this. So what I'm asking you to do today, Minister, along with the other uh, regional group deputies, is firstly to decide to put a floor under this business and to make a commitment, a strategic commitment, to fund this service into the future. And after that, we can look at all the initiatives that will provide revenue into the service. But first and foremost, it requires a political decision to support and to save and expand this service. Thank you.